Ocular Force color and focus matcher tools have been completely rewritten to make them the best on the market for fixing fundamental stereoscopic issues in production. In order to first analyse your stereo plates and assess the amount of work you're in for, we have created a brand new stereo review gizmo. The stereo review gizmo has sliders to manually set your near, far and subject depths. Then by using the depth slider, our image switches to a difference mode to see what the differences are throughout the shot. There is an aligned plate toggle option which will give you a rough estimate of what your plates will look like aligned and also a toggle that allows you to quickly switch between left and right eyes to see the colour shift. Using the stereo review gizmo before you start the rest of your stereo fixing process will ultimately allow you to make better decisions quicker and turn around shots faster. The colour matcher in Ocular 4 has been greatly improved against Ocular 3. If you look at the colour match of Ocular 3, you can see that there is a shift in the image as the colour match is trying to rebuild the local colour. In Ocular 4 there is a slight shift, but now inside the colour matcher you have the controls to help fix those issues. The block size by default is a lot smaller than Ocular 3 which helps to pick up really detailed highlights. You have the scale control which fine tunes how the colour correction is being applied. This makes sure the colour match doesn't shift the parallax by rebuilding incorrectly. The limit option works as a soft clamp which prevents the excessive changes in highlight areas. Pay close attention to the fluorescent tube highlights in the background. And the noise option allows you to reintroduce the noise pattern from the original plate. In this example you can add too much contrast to the noise pattern by dialing the values up or you can dial it down so that it matches closer. When you review the colour matcher changes by using the stereo review gizmo, you can trust that the results are more accurate by seeing the difference in the image being as close to black as possible. The focus matcher has been rewritten as well. If you take a look at the rebuilt image of this shot using new view, you can get a good idea of how your disparities are behaving and if they are going to give you an accurate rebuild. If not, then you can try a different preset to see if that will give you a better result. Once you are happy with the build, you can use the Match Edges option in the Focus Matcher tool to match the contrast of the edges. For a more detailed focus matching, you can use the Reconstruct Edges option that will rebuild the edges and allow you to reintroduce the noise pattern from the original plate. The combined improvements in the Colour Matcher and Focus Matcher means that Ocular 4's tools now take you closer to the final result and give you the best controls to get there if not.